welcome to the Milford by David Wilson Holmes yeah. at is it Kingsbourne again? Kingsbourne, yeah, yeah, there's there's a quite, quite, couple of developers on here, three oh, actually. Yeah. Um, and this house type, tell us a little bit about it. Four bed, <laughs> four bed detached. House type. Good size family home. This is the Milford you want. Yeah. You said that. It's got an integral garage. You have. There right, you go. Let's make a start then. So we've got this nice entrance hallway. We're not to plan either, we're, we're opposite to plan. So the other side of this wall is your garage. Yeah. Okay, right. Lounge first and foremost. Been a bit of a strange day today, isn't it? It started yeah. out really cold, but now the sun's come out and it's quite warm. So it's got that trademark David Wilson Bay there, look. Dimensions for this lounge are 5 metres 40 by 3 metres 23. Yeah. Very nice lounge. We've got two light fittings in here as well because it's quite long. Two radiators. You've got that understairs bit there. I like the flooring. That's your downstairs WC. square basin there. There's another door there please. Okay that's just a little cupboard there with the alarm in etc. Okay so let's give you a little look at that, that hallway from here look guys. That good size hallway. Okay so you've got your kitchen, they've got a dining table, they've got a bit of a family area at that end. I've seen them in other show homes where they've had a sofa, a corner sofa at this part with a table over there, it gives you the, the multi space. Yeah. And we've got that absolutely. trademark David Wilson pushed out. I absolutely space. love that bit because there's so much light in that space there. Right, let's have a look at this beautiful kitchen because they've got high gloss units, but obviously you can choose whatever, yeah. whatever you want. So we've got a fridge freezer at that end, the integrated dishwasher, they've got a single bowl sink, beautiful work surfaces actually. Plenty of eye line cupboards. The most amazing hob. Look at that gap hob. Beautiful. I love that. Right, and then you've got three really big drawers for all your pans and bits and pieces. Fantastic extractor. And then another of these, uh, these double ovens. Which got God, that's so there. annoying. You do that. What? No, the, that's always down. hanging over, and then you <laughs> use the bottom one, and then you get you just that's what happens. That's so annoying. Yeah, I love that. No, I don't. It gets trapped in there. The oven gloves. Nice and tiny. I like. What that. a joke. Yeah. Is that cloth right? You have a little scoot around that shoes. And then you've got a little cupboard there underneath. Now, underneath that cupboard there, there's a little bit of like an extractor thing. So whether that's for a heater or whether that's the ventilation for the oven. Right, so we've got French doors then out into the rear garden. We've got this little family area here which has got a window of its own which is quite nice isn't it? And then we've got a utility. So without seeing that no, there's the space there for a well, one appliance. tumble dryer. Yeah, yeah you've got space there for another one because there's yeah. a sink in here. Plenty of cupboards though isn't there? More than enough. I would presume that that's the boiler there, Steve. Yeah, there's your boiler. Um, that's just logic. You've got a, a door there right to the back garden, which is very, very nice. Take your, take your washing out there in the summer, take it from the line. I like the kitchen, I think it's very spacious. Right. We're done downstairs, I think we'll go and take a look upstairs. So first floor, now then we were back to front, so I think if we start at this this side, so we're back at the front of the house but we're over the garage, this is bedroom two. So that's got a fitted wardrobe. Yes, which of course might be an upgrade, so you have to, you have to check and of course you can modify the house to however you like. We've got a lot of options. That's got a window in it. Bedroom two. Which is quite standard in most bedrooms. 4 metres 16 by 2 metres 71. So here at the back, this is bedroom.
bedroom four, which they first... Ah, now why don't we tell the viewers about the ice cream reference? Because there's quite a lot of ice cream in here, and obviously it's the Snugberries, isn't it? Yes, Snugberries is Tell them what Snugberries is. Snugberries is a famous ice cream that's made in Nantwich, <laughs> just up the road. And they used to, uh, and they've got this special like thing as you drive past where they have this big thing, big an animal or something made out of straw, and they had a big Peter Rabbit, and yeah. someone burnt it well, down. Well, it's like a big wicker man, isn't it? Yeah. In, in the field, but I've seen a Dalek. Yeah. I've seen a Doctor Who Tardis. I can't remember. I've seen so many there. Anyway, lovely bedroom, bedroom four. Um, 3 meters 52 by 3 meters 12 but one thing's for sure you can certainly get the most beautiful ice cream in Nantwich well we're not going to stop for any though not today we're too not. busy right so this is your main bathroom very very nice indeed and it's got a shower a separate shower Dimensions in there are two meters ninety-one by one meters ninety-five. Did you show the viewers the shower? Yeah, uh, no, I didn't. There we go. There we Separate go. Separate beautiful shower cubicle. There we go. Lovely viewers. Lovely shower Lovely there. Shower, isn't it? Right then, at the back now you've got bedroom three. Dimensions are just over the four meters by three meters thirty-six. That's got um, a built-in wardrobe there as well. Look. Ooh, some beautiful furniture going on in here. I, I am a fan of mirrored furniture. I absolutely love it, particularly with that kind of aged, antiqued effect on it. That, that's lovely furniture. Right, there's a door there, Steve. Cylinder tank. And then we've got bedroom one. Now this is nice because two windows are split against bedroom one. Now you have to excuse the noise because there is a lot of construction going look, on look, 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 right look at this, look at this for technique, look at him with that, he's going to get a bit of that tarmac, look in the front, he's got his digger bucket on the wrong way. Right, so this is your master bedroom, dimensions are 5 metres 19 by 3 metres 82. So you've got your bedroom area, there's an ensuite in there, but they've got a bank of fitted wardrobes there, and there behind me, which utilises the um understairs cupboard well, it's not understairs sorry the volume of the stairs <laughs> it's the overstairs piece there which kind of sticks out but that's a nice little place to sit and put your shoes on yeah isn't it if you want to put your shoes on upstairs well and we've got an ensuite here i'm going to say it's not the biggest ensuite in the world but it's 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 purely it's adequate for this size of house it's got a very large shower yeah it's got a good shower it's got a window and you can see there with a nice tile rail and nice the book it makes your, your, uh, your they redeem themselves with that big win that big window okay well there we go so this is this is actually going to be a very very big site yeah. when it's finished i can't find the yes and that which is a market town the market town of Nantwich, which is all Tudor, Tudor, Tudor buildings, and yeah. um, this this area of Kings. This is like a, a small mini village that's going up here. Um, well, the sales lady told us that there are going to be over six hundred houses here when it's finished. Mm. Um, at the moment, I think only six people have moved in. So yeah, far. It's, it's, this and is it's quite a new we're, development. We've, we've come here right at the beginning of construction, pretty much. That you know, it's only recently started, but it's going to be epic. Yeah. There is going to be a school and um, a little what do you call it. Um, a, a, a local centre. A local centre. The local people. That's what I was going to say, a local centre. So, um, come on, bring the camera over here in front of the window. Thank you. Right. Yes, so, all the dimensions will be in the description box down below, as I always say, along with some uh, detailed information about Kingsbourne and the surrounding area of Nantwich and, and Cheshire. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please click that button and subscribe so that you, you get a notification every time we upload a new video. Um, thank you. Thank we've got you. another house to see here next door. Yeah, Steve was going to say thank you, but thank you for watching and we'll catch you on our next video. Bye.